Hello there, it's William here from Vuzik, and I just want to show how I have set up my Wave Sound Grid Studio using uh, just one ASIO uh, driver because the my sound card, the one I'm, I'm using, is not uh, really a, how to call that audio interface. It's just a regular sound card, and uh, but it has a great ASIO support, which I can use at two milliseconds which is very low, two milliseconds, very low. And uh, I have set up my wave sound grid in here. I have my sound card set up already. Uh, full screen doesn't show the, let me exit the full screen. So we can see here two milliseconds, which is really, really great. But uh, there's a problem when I'm using with Reaper, uh, I have the monitor set up uh, monitor effects set up for my uh, virtual headphones because I don't have uh, monitors and in my uh, room here and the room is very badly treated so actually there's no treatment on this room uh, because we moved it like two years ago and uh, we want to to get a new place ready so this one I don't want to invest any money on it so the next room, I'm going to make proper treatment and get proper monitors. And uh, even when I do that, sometimes I like to use headphones because uh, my wife could be sleeping and something like that. And if the room is not insulated, it's going to bleed audio everywhere. So I just like to use the headphones and I use the Waves NX uh, CLA NX one is it opening? I don't know. Double click. Yeah. So I use this one, which sounds great. I don't use the head tracking. I uh, find that a bit silly, but uh, some people like it. I just personally don't don't like. I just like the sound that it adds and the extra bass. So I'm I'm used to to mixing like that. So I already got used to that, and it works great for me. But uh, it adds latency. It adds, adds around uh, 1 milliseconds of latency. 11 milliseconds of latency, actually. And that's really not good for when you are going to play a MIDI instrument, a plug-in MIDI instrument. In this case, I don't have any external hardware in here, just the plugins instruments. So I was trying to figure out how to do that in Reaper and uh, in Studio One, it's very easy. You just have an option in the preference that you set up and uh, that's it. It's going to bypass the monitoring and bypass any plugin that you know, is on the chain that's adding uh, latency. But it's also not that, that great because sometimes uh, it, it tries to reload the, the effects and uh, it's not it's not very, I don't know, I, I don't like it. <laughs> so what I have done here, I'm using my setup with uh, four channels, eight channels actually, four stereo channels, or it's eight stereo channels. Well, I don't know, I'm just using two channels on the mixer. So I have set up everything in here. This is just a regular setup you do. You can check my other videos for that. Just search on YouTube. Then I have set up two channels in here, channel one and channel two. I tried to use the control room, but uh, I couldn't figure out how to, to use that. So I just went to the patch bay instead. And what I, what I have done is, uh, set up the the inputs from the ASIO driver to my ch to my uh, two channels. So it puts stereo inputs one and two. And uh, on Reaper, I just went on the audio setup, audio device, and you can see output range, first one, last four. So I got all my two channels in here four mono in total, but two in stereo. So I just set up like that. And then here, let me see where is the output. The output go from the main uh, mixer to the 
to the actual, actual sound card output. So that's just the two things you have to set up. So you have to set up the input for each channel for each ASIO channel in here. And then the output from the master mix bus, the main mix bus, to the actual sound card, which is the Schoner, I don't know how to say that. It's the ASIO Sonar, or oh, Schoner <laughs> card. It also has great sound, this card, by the way. For the price, you can't really go wrong. So this, that's just the two things I have set up. And on channel one, I'm just adding my regular um, monitoring plugins. So I add the the headphones. Uh, how to call this again? Headphone simulator, studio monitor sim simulator with headphone equalization. And then I add, I add a mastering effect just to to add a bit of bass and a high to my hearing because I have a bit of a hearing loss or already near 50 years old. So I have to add a bit extra. And then uh, I can uh, also add a bit of limiter so it doesn't clip too much on the sound card. Uh, I should also have a brick limiter in here, but I haven't set up it this yet. And then on channel two, I don't have anything. So it goes directly out. So now if, if I go here on Reaper, let's say I have a track. Let me add a track. I'll skip this. Insert new track. I usually use the T for track. I don't know why it's not working. Maybe I have changed something. Anyway, my track's in there. Then I have to go to the to the master. And uh, I have to create another bus. So I created a template for that. Let me go to the template. Uh, project templates. No, I don't want to save it. Just let it load. So I, I created a... Uh, template with already my all my bus and uh, 20 tracks which is usually what I, what I use if you need more I can just duplicate a track uh, but if if I go to my mixer here I have now the I have now my uh, effects bus which is usually where I put a reverb or a delay then uh, a regular bus which I, I put everything but the the drum kick, if I'm doing like a very four on four techno sound, and on each track you can see that I have a, a channel two uh, value and a bus one value, and I have added this to my control keyboard, so if I want to to get zero latency without any mastering and any uh, monitoring effect, I just change here, you can cheat. I don't know if you can see that, but it's changing there. So for that, I had to use the real learn plugin. You, you can search that, so I add this on my master here. Let me show to you. Oh, it, oh, it do that. Oh, here. Okay, what's behind the mixer? So this is the real learn uh, plugin. It adds like a, a regular audio plugin. And uh, I have set it my controllers so I can use. So I have here my uh, send volume to the selected track, select the track. I have added these all to the selected tracks. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Five controllers. You can see they're, they are lighting up as I move. So I can change things on my, on my selected track. So I have my volume, my panning should be in here. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is the volume, panning. Then this effects send, 
It's a bit hard to see because it's very small. And then I have the two sands, one for the for the sand here on, on the bottom, and then one for the output that goes to the waves channel two. So that bypasses the mastering master effects, which I also have some uh, effects that add latency. Like uh, I don't remember if the rear limit adds latency or not, but uh, I'm pretty sure it does. I don't know where to to check that uh, the latency values in here on the Reaper. But uh, anyway, it works because as soon as I turn, like let's say I on track one and I want to to play an instrument, so I want zero latency, I just turn off the buzz one, I turn on the channel two, which I just did with my controllers here. I have to put some labels on it because I keep forgetting which one is one. And this, I'm using the Behringer UMX and uh, it doesn't really show very well the position of the of the faders, the knobs in this case. And uh, I'm going to put some some coloring on these knobs to make it look better. But that's the way I have done. And by the way, this is the Imperial team. I just uploaded another video about how to apply this theme and get it working with dark uh, windows uh, titles and uh, plugins, effects, background, because by default it's going to be white in here and white on the top, which is really annoying for someone with OCD like me. Uh, I think this pretty much sum up, sums up what I have done on this video. And uh, if you don't know how to, to install the real, 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 real learn plugin, you can check uh, on Google, there are videos on how to do that. And I um, also have the channel here. What? Oh, that's the channel one. It's, it's muted. I don't know why it's muted. I have to test this out. Anyway, it should be working. So, okay, that's it for this video and thanks for watching.